Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find the variance and standard deviation of ungrouped data. So here in this example, these are the observations. As you can see, this is the ungrouped data. Now the formula for variance and standard deviation are these. But before we can use them, we need to first find what these values are. Now what is n? n is nothing but the number of observations. So let's count how many observations are there. Uh, yes, there are 8 observations. So our n is going to be 8. Now next, what is xi? xi are these observations here. So let's write these observations in a tabular form in the form of column. Whenever we do calculations in tabular form, it's easier to understand and we also make less mistakes. So let's write the observations here. Now just make sure that you write the digits one below the other. I'll soon tell you why. Now let's see the formula. What else do we need? Yes, we need x bar. What is x bar? x bar is the mean of the data. Now because this is ungrouped data, this is the formula that we'll use sigma xi by n. And what is sigma? Yes, sigma is the Greek symbol for summation. So that means we have to add up all the xi values. And that's why we had to write one digit below the other so that it's easier to add. Now, I've already done the addition just to save some time. Now, it comes up to be 128. You can check it out. Now, let's calculate the mean value. So, mean is nothing but sigma xi which is 128 divided by n which is 8. Now, I think it will directly go in 8 table, right? Yes, it will go. So, this will come out to be 16. So, the mean of this data is 16. Now, again, let's see the formula. It will tell us what next to do. Now, we need xi minus x bar. So the next column that we need is xi minus x bar. Now just for my convenience, I'm going to create another column called x bar where I'll write the mean value which is 16. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that my subtraction is easier and I make less mistakes. But if you want, you can totally skip this column. So let's go ahead with the subtraction 15 minus 16 minus 1. Remember to put the minus. 22 minus 16 is 6. Yes, this will get 11 uh, minus 5. 5 minus 7, this will give me 5, yes, this is minus 2 and here you will have minus 7. Just do it very carefully. Now here is our xi minus x bar. Let's check the formula. We need xi minus x bar the whole square. So that's our new column, xi minus x bar the whole square. So remember whenever we square, what happens? The minus becomes plus. So minus 1 the whole square is 1. Here also just make sure that you write the digits 1 below the other. So 11 square 121, uh, 25, uh, this is 49 and this is 25, 4 and yes 49 again. See all the minus has vanished. Let's again see what do we need to do. Yes we need to find the sigma of all this. We need to add all these squares up. So I've already done the addition. It comes out to be uh, 310. You can verify. Now what else do we need? We have all the data. So let's go ahead and find the variance. So the variance or the sigma square is uh, yes 310 divided by n which is 8. Now I think it will go into stable. Let's see. Uh, yes, 2 4s are 8 and 155. Uh, that's it, right? Now we have to do the division. Now on doing the division, you will get it as 38.75. So the variance of this data is 38.75. Now what about standard deviation? That's very easy. Just find the square root of variance. So standard deviation is uh, the square root of 38.75. Now if you are allowed a calculator, you can check it on calculator or you can even use the tables. Whichever method, you will get the standard deviation as 6.2249. Okay, so this is the standard deviation. So friends, just for your practice, do try out this question where you have to find the variance and standard deviation of this ungrouped data and please do share your answers in the comment section below. So I hope you found this video useful. If so, do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments, your questions, what you would like to see next in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.